सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू एलगॉड्स एंड टुडे वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम हैकर रैंक एंड द क्वेश्चन नेम इज ऑलमोस्ट सॉर्टेड राइट सो फर्स्ट लेट अस डिस्कस द क्वेश्चन सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन अनसॉर्टेड एरे राइट एंड वी फाइनली नीड टू चेंज इट टू अ सॉर्टेड एरे राइट एंड टू डू सो वी कैन मेक आइदर ऑफ दीज टू ऑपरेशंस the first operation is that we can go for swapping two of its elements and the second operation is that we can reverse a particular segment of the given array so we have to do either of these operation and try to sort the array if the array is already sorted we simply need to print yes else if we perform these operations let's say we reverse the segment l to r then we have to print yes then reverse and then the range which we reversed right l and r respectively and if we went for swapping then we have to print yes then swap and then we have to print the indices which we swapped which would be l and r say right and even after performing either of these operations we couldn't uh, sort the array right then we have to print no right so these four would be the possible outputs for our question right okay and in the function we would be given an array of integers right okay right so now let us discuss the approach for solving this question right okay so here are the sample cases the first sample case i have taken is an array of eight elements and the elements are 1 2 6 5 4 3 7 8 right so let us first discuss when we would be able to apply the reverse segment method or the operation right okay so let me plot these numbers on a graph and let's see how it looks after it right okay so let us build a graph here right okay so this is the graph and our first element is 1 then 2 then 6 right so 1 then it becomes 2 and then it becomes 6 right and after that it becomes 5 4 3 5 then it becomes 4 then it becomes 3 right and after it shoots up to 7 and then it becomes 8 right so now if you see that first there is an increasing segment then there is a decreasing segment and then again there is an increasing segment right so what we can do is that if i reverse this decreasing segment reverse it then it is possible that our final array could be sorted but there would be certain conditions right so after sorting what would happen is that this three element would go here and this six element would come here right we know that reversing this decreasing segment would change to inserting Uh, i mean increasing but the final array should also be in an increasing fashion right so we need to make sure that when this 3 comes here and the 6 goes there the final array should be in an increasing fashion right so for this the condition should be that the value of this valley we can say it a valley right so this the value of this valley which is 3 should be greater than the value just below the peak and the value just below this peak is 2 right so this value should be greater than 2 right so 3 should be greater than 2 and when this 6 goes there it should be less than the value just next to the valley which is 7 right so 6 should be less than 7 right so let us suppose if there would have been 5 here right then even if we reversed this segment would become increasing right but then the final array would not be sorted at all because after 6 we would be having 5 right so we need to make sure that these two conditions are fulfilled the first is that the value 
at the value should be greater than the value just below the peak and second is that the value at the peak should be less than the value at just after the valley right so these two conditions need to be made sure and furthermore for this type of graph it should be that we should iterate the array we should first find a peak that means an increasing fashion and then a decreasing which would give us a peak and then after this decreasing there should again be an increasing fashion right so then we should find a valley so after iterating through all the array in a linear fashion if we first obtain a peak and then a valley it would denote that we have a decreasing segment here which can be reversed to obtain a sorted array but it might not be possible in all the cases right so for that we need to make sure that these two conditions are fulfilled right so this was the part when a particular segment could be reversed to get a sorted array right so now let us discuss for the swapping part right okay so now let us take the other case the other case is 1 2 6 4 5 1 2 6 4 5 3 7 8 3 7 8 so in this case uh, let's see how swapping could be applied swapping would be we can do swapping only one time right and that too only between two numbers right so now let us plot again on a graph and see how it looks right so let's build a graph again right okay so first element is 1 and then next is 2 then next is shooted up to 6 right and then it becomes 4 then it again shoots up to 5 then it again comes down to 3 then again shooting up to 7 and finally 8 right okay so now let's discuss this swap part right so if you see in this array if I swap 6 and 3 then it would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 right so this is a sorted array and you see I applied the swapping operation only one time right and between these two numbers right okay so now let's see how swapping could be applied in our reverse part we saw that if we iterate the array in a linear fashion and then obtain a peak valley combination then we could go for reversing but what if there were more peaks and valleys right so in this case we first have a peak here let's call it p1 then we have a valley here let's call it b1 then again we have a peak and then again we have a valley here right and then again it's increasing so you see here it's first increasing then decreasing again increasing again decreasing and then again finally increasing right so uh, why there are more valleys and peaks here in this array the reason being is that in this array two elements are swapped right so uh, if 3 and 6 were have been at their original positions it would have been a strictly increasing fashion array right okay so here 6 came so this abrupt came due to 6 and then 3 came here so it abrupted the increasing fashion here and another abrupt came here right so this is the reason why we are having a combination like peak valley peak valley and you notice that these abrupts are only due to single elements here it is 6 and then 3 there are no other elements present in this reason right okay so what we see is that if we obtain this kind of fashion which is peak valley peak valley then what we can do is that we can make the element at the valley to move here right and then we can go for that this element at peak valley 1 can move to this place 
Note, we cannot go for reversing, although we obtain this peak valley and again a peak valley, but the reverse operation can only be applied at most once. So in this case, we would not be able to apply the reverse operation, right? So we would have to go for trying for swap, right? Okay. So if we swap these positions, then it is a chance that we could get a sorted array, right? Okay, so now let's see what other condition should be so that the array should be sorted, right? Now this 3 is going at this position, right? So this element at 3, which is basically at the value V2 should be greater than the element just below this peak, right? So that it's an increasing fashion. So element at the value V2 should be greater than the element just below the peak similar and also the element at the valley v2 should be less than the element just after the peak which is this right or we can say it v1 or p1 plus 1 right okay and then the element at 6 is moving here then our other condition would be that is less than the element at peak 1 is less than this element which is just after the valley v2 right and then it should be greater than the element just before this valley which is basically this peak here right okay so the element at p1 should be greater than the element which is present at peak 2 so if these four conditions are fulfilled then we can go for swapping and once all these conditions are true, we can swap the values at the indexes p1, v2, right? So you notice that if it was a combination pv, then we could go for reversing. If it was peak valley, peak valley, it means that there are abrupts again and again, which might be due to swapping of two elements. So we verified these four conditions. And if these four conditions were verified, then we could go for swap. Now you see that if I would have ignored this part, means that this part was not in our original array, right? Then what would have this effect is that we would need not verify this part here, right? Since it would, our array would finish at this valley B2, right? Okay, so basically that's considering only the bounds of the array, right? So we would iterate until the bounds of the array. And if we achieve this combination, we would check for these conditions given all these variables are coming under the bounds, right? Okay, so we discussed when we could reverse and when we could swap. Now the other part mentioned in the question was that if there are two indices L and R which can be swapped as well as reversed then we have to prefer the swapping part right so let us consider the case 1 3 2 4 right so in this part if we plot again it is 1 it is 3 it is 2 and this is 4 right so here it is an increasing then decreasing and then again increasing right so it's a peak valley combination right similarly we can also take it in the swapping part as well so there are two options that this can be swapped yeah, if i swap this it could become one two three four even if i reverse this segment then it would be one two three four right so what other condition we need to verify in this reverse part is that if we find that two indices l and r could be reversed and these are adjacent indices means that r minus l is 1 then we would print swap l and r instead of printing reverse l and r right so this is one more modification which we need to make so finally let's brief out our approach or algorithm right okay so our first step was to check whether the array is already sorted or not if the array is already sorted then we would be printing yes else we would check for the other options right so for checking if the array is sorted we would be iterating in a linear fashion and if at any moment we find that array at index i 
and is greater than the element at the index i plus 1 then we would be returning false right else after the finishing of the loop we can return true right but if the array is not sorted right then what we need to do is then we should check for two options the first being the reverse option and the other being the swap option these two functions would first check whether a reverse or a swap is possible or not and then would return the two indices lr which needs to be reversed or swapped in this case we made it one more modification that was that r and lr adjacent that means r minus l equal to 1 then we needed to print swap instead of reverse right okay so these two were the next steps and finally if we couldn't do either of these operations then we would print a simple no right so these were the four basic uh, uh, steps which we followed while deriving our algo right okay so now let's discuss the time complexity in either of these operations we iterated through the array in a linear fashion right so the time complexity is in the order of n where n is the size of array given to us right so i hope you understood the solution thank you for watching the video